move, move my gimbal a little bit like that, a little headroom there, well, whatever. Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson's Taking the Trench to Bed. This is a Monday, which means it's a cold Monday, too. I got to make me some uh, soup. Going to make a butternut uh, 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 sweet potato soup. Yeah, sweet potato soup. I usually do put some onion in. Oh, stuff is going to be. I need to put some cardamom in, too. We'll see what happens. The point is that, oh, of course, got to have the cinnamon. But the point is this. It's a Monday. This That means it's a me day. When I say I talk about me, you know, we, we do we do this series on Instagram, you know, we talk on Mondays, it's me day, Tuesdays is U.S. politics, Wednesdays is world politics, Thursdays is audio drama, which is what we exist for. Friday is a week wrap up, Saturday, Sunday, eh, we never know what's going to happen. Okay, so it's a Monday, so I got to talk about me. Uh, as you may or may know, I'm, I'm in the throes of traveling, you know, I just, I came from India about a month ago, whatever, hit. Um, then I went to uh, you know to my my environs in uh, in the Eastern Cape you know uh, Baza Kibebu, and then um, and then I had to come down here had to well, I mean came down here for for the food and where's the food and oh, oh, oh came down here for the food and Dabba because you know every year hang out with the you know with, with the food dialogues people like that um, and then uh, and then uh, I'm gonna leave here it looks like I'm gonna stop by uh, Maracanda or Gramstown, whatever they call it these days. I've got to talk to some people real quick, only a day, because I got to get back to the Eastern Cape. There's hot times happening in the Eastern Cape, man. Woo. Anyway, I got to go to Eastern Cape. Then, depending on what happens, because I'm not going to the states. If my sister don't use her little mileage points to get me up there, I might not even come for. I mean, I'll just do the election. I might. Not, I don't know. We'll see. Happen. I'm supposed to go to the states for a couple of months. Then I come back here, then go to India, back to India in January, so I'm traveling, he said, well, brother, how do you travel like that, no, I mean, but the money, the money is always an issue, right, and it's not even an issue, so I just say, I'm going to go, and I just find a way to go, but, you know, what I find in traveling is very important that you know what to wear, when to wear it, like, a lot of times, people pack all kinds, of, first of all, if you're traveling, and, you know, you're one of those people like a lot of jewelry, fancy watches, don't, <laughs> If you're going someplace for three weeks, you're going to some reason. Just leave your jewelry, your your, or your 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 heirlooms or whatever. Leave it, leave it <laughs> like that. I have to leave, I have to not wear any kind of jewelry, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, uh, same thing for, for 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 glasses. No, I shouldn't say that because a lot of you you all gotta look good. I think what happens is in my family thing because as I think about it, my brother was a fashion really, you know, good. You know, sense for well, what to wear, but then we all did, but then he got the fame for it. My sister went with the, well, my younger sister went with all the jewelry, or whatever. But we never was those people that stay in the mirror and you do 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 that 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 that. That sort of broke because my my niece, I don't know what's what she's got to be the what to put together. I, I don't know. Anyway, so most of us we just do. And me, I never cared. Your hair, don't care. Don't they care? Even when I'm looking so-called looking good, it just happens. I just yeah, and I, I forget about it. I had my locks for a very long time. I was trying to figure out why people kept on like, oh, whoa, whoa. at the time I was going to like uh, Mexico a lot. So with the sun and the and the and the salt, I guess, uh, the my hair, the, the locks, they, well, they were long, they were long, and they they had that amber color to it, but. I, I don't look at myself, you know what I mean? But one time, I, somebody took a picture, and I saw it from the back. I said, whoa, that's <laughs> that's what they're looking at. Okay, oh, fine. But one of the secrets of travel is, at least not to be a victim, I shouldn't say that like that, but I have to say it like that, is your shoes, you know, your watches, um, um, watches, shoes, general appearance, right? Now, right now, I'm just as wrinkled, but I'm inside, whatever have you. But this is a warm kind of thing. It's a cold day. But, like, say, for instance, uh, a couple of years ago, I got these shoes here. Uh, these shoes here, these are uh, they're from uh, Vio Barefoot. Anyway, I found, I knew about them, and this was about two or three years ago, and I found that they had a uh, thing in, uh, in Cape Town, you know, a store. So I went there, and, uh, and I got these a couple of years ago. But as you see there, they're, they're well-worn. Yeah, for it, they sew your your feet, you know, they spread out so when you talk, you walk, you know, you walk regular instead of the putting your toes together, and it's a big, big problem. Bunions and all the rest of that stuff. 
This is what I got. But they was wearing out. So I went, I got, well, let me put they was wearing out. And I still took them to, uh, and I was wearing them around in, in Dumbaza, wherever, but it doesn't, now, see, it doesn't go good. Because these things, I think they're molded, whatever I had to shoot. The top, top, tops are very good. They're molded. So I don't know, and then so the water got through it yesterday, whatever have you, you know. Um, but I think, uh, Adiola, I think he has a he has an interest in a cobbler shop. So I'm going to try to go and see if this can be repaired. Not because I want to, well, they're very good, but uh, I'll just wear them in, in, in like the bars and good bedroom like that. But I went and I got a new pair. <laughs> got this last year, but I didn't wear them. I haven't worn them. Uh, well, you know, I wore them a couple of times. So I'll be wearing this for the rest of the time I'm here. Um, and shoes, the shoes generally, um, you know, I got, I get my shoe, my VA shoes. They, they're good, you know. Uh, I when I if I get to the states, I am going to go. I like my morals. These this is the morals like like the bare fifth kind of thing. I read I like them anyway. So so I, I I wear that. Of course, you always have to be color coordinated. What can we say? Uh, let me show you some other. Oh, hats. Uh, you know, I was never sort of yes and no a hat person. You know, whatever it's called. But then um, my spiritual advisor said, "Got to cover your head. Got to always got to cover your head." So. I, that was like seven years ago, whenever he said it, right? But I did, then I became conscious of just having to wear a hat or even a, even like a, um, a bandana over over my head, right? And I don't think it's I don't think it's for um, vain reasons or anything like that. Uh, plus, I don't care about my hair, so you know. But here's one of my favorite hats that I got from the from here from from from, from uh, Cape Town a long time ago, and it's actually a. a Eastern Cape style before I even went to Eastern Cape and uh, I really like it for the warm, uh, warm season well, for the cold season like right, right now so I wore that yesterday right there um, this is a hat that my that my wife made for whatever it's like that Nigerian uh, style let me tell you this is, this is a funny story uh, Kalode who's from Nigeria you know we met at, at Tagore's one time and I, I had, she had just made this hat so I had put it on you know like that and I, and a matching top, something like that. You know, a blue, blue top, not a matching like this, blue top. And uh, so I was waiting for him. He came in. So to, to go ahead, like a, a stair that you go upstairs. So I came in, I met him, okay, let's go. So we was we walking up the stairs, you know, and uh, this is in Cape Town. And so <laughs> and I heard later people said, oh, there's two Nigerians going up there. They must be, uh, they must be plotting something like that. So this is like a Nigerian style that, yeah, that she has it flat like that. So I like that one. We'll talk about a new hat. My, well, anyway, then I got this one. What happened was uh, uh, this brother gave me, uh, gifted me uh, uh, an original uh, Cape to Cuba hat, which which has, which the cat, you can see it, if you ever seen the pictures of me in Pan African Space Station, I wore it a lot. It had a big red star on one side, and it's a reversible hat, and it had a picture of, um, of um, what do you call that, the Cuban flag with the, uh, with uh, Che Guevara on the other side, because of the restaurant's name is Cape to Cuba, there in Musenberg. Um, and so he had gifted because he had worked there. And then I went and got a hat from them. And this is one of the original ones, it's a really good quality. But as you see, it's a little faded because I've had it for so long. This is the black side, and this is the green side, like that. So it's from Cape to Cuba. Then I went uh, a couple of years ago and I got a new one. But the quality is sort of different. You know, this is a better quality, you know. What can you say? So this quality here, more polyester, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, um, so it's the black side, and it's the green side, like that, because it's newer than blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, uh, but I like, what I like about this hat, if people think it's a, a com, communist hat, <laughs> or, you know, Cuban hat. But for me, it's my Ogun cap. See, because Ogun's colors are, are black, green, with a little bit of red. So whenever you see me have this one, everybody thinks it's communism. I, I know it's it's for my Ogun, my, uh, you know, my connection to the Yoruba uh, tradition like that. And lately, oh, let me, in fact, let me turn this one around. Well, let me show you this hat. I guess I'm stuck on hats right now. My wife just made this design here. I guess she can put it on either side. However, however you wear it, right? But it's matching, and I haven't. I put this. I wear this one time out. I wore this for something. I was doing a recording or something like that. 
but it matches now let us let us turn let us turn around here and we we'll can see like that uh, oh this is my artifice uh, sweatshirt I get it uh, two or uh, two different colors artifice sweatshirt this one here this is from uh, dr. DC and um, I really artifice man that's that's the that's the label and then here's the other one the, the gray one like that I travel with those two some pants there I have right there, old man pants. Oh, this is my, uh, which shirt is this? I got it inside out here, but I think this is my, uh, this might be my Thomas and Carter shirt. Let me see. Yeah, this this is a, this is a Thomas and Carter t-shirt. You'll have to tune in another time for that, or maybe I'll turn it around sometime. Oh, I got, I just got this shirt for India, pure cotton, but here's what I want to show you. This is the Alpha, this is the top that goes with that hat. I mean, I should take it all out. I'm not going to take it out. You have to see it because I'm going to wear it later on. I'm going to wear it later on this week uh, when we, at the Food and Dower. Uh, one of the things. But that, but that goes with that hat there like that. Uh, oh, this, uh, I, this is a very light t-shirt, a uh, hoodie, hoodie. And I really like it, the fabric. I, I really like it. And uh, I got it from, uh, listen to the uh, folks there at, uh, what do you call that, uh, uh, narrative, you know, they have a thing called uh, uh, the new Nubia. I like it because they have out at they have the, uh, the eye the accented with uh, with Africa, but if you really look at it, they include Madagascar. I hate two two dimensional things that don't have Madagascar. Oh, in the back of this, I have my uh, this is my symbol here, uh, the wisdom knot uh, from West Africa from the Akan people. I had this thing a long time ago. I said I. If, if 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 I had to be any if well if I do any religion, no no if I want to do any culture I would do the Akan culture, and you know where you go into the priesthood you lock your head and when you make it then you cut your hair. Oh this is another one of the t-shirts that I have from um, from Isaiah. It's a beautiful. It's a, the quality of the t-shirt is great, and of course he had his mouth there. But uh, this is Amagliis Robert Sabuke and his widow and his wife like that. Uh, here you go, Mama Sabukwe, and uh, so I wear that that T-shirt. Oh, this coat, this was gifted to me from. I wear this a lot too when I travel, um, and uh, this is from uh, my fraternity brother, Dr. James Kanye, who um, see. And I, this button I got from these people in South Carolina. They have a movement called Justice First, and I always have it on there. And this button here I have here is, is from the, the East. The East was a cultural thing in in Brooklyn. And G two I U C was well, was a force in there, and so I just keep that button on there because G two I U C is a, a master, a master organizer, and uh, that's real. Oh, this is a. I only have this down here, but this top I wear on special special occasions, and I think that's all I want to show you from this, this. This this again. This is the stuff that I have. Oh, I have some pants here, but I have my, I have my, I have my. Let me put this back here. I'll show you what I have. I have my main man, you know. I have my, uh, it was gifted to me by Steve Marshall. My Marvin. Love that Marvin, you know. This was in 1976, I guess they had put a t-shirt out. But he gifted it's too big, it's too big, I just wear it around. So I really, one time I was wearing this, I think, in fact I was in Musenberg, I was wearing, wearing it, and, and the kids looked at me and said, is that you? I said, no, it's not me, it's Marvin. I said, what are you talking about, you know? I'm never, nobody good looking at Marvin. Okay, so that's, I don't even know why guys hooked up on all that stuff. But the thing about wearing uh, but stuff, see I have I have clothes in Virginia, I have clothes in Gubdevu, I got clothes in Dimbaza, I got clothes here, and a little bag here in uh, Somerset West. So wherever I go, I try not to carry a lot of bags, you know what I mean? And clothes also, oh, that's what I want to tell you. Look, when you're, um, how do you say it? When you're uh, traveling, especially if you know you're going to a, cold, a, a warm climate, you know, leave stuff, you know? Go to, the, remember if you go to a warm climate, it's probably a, a, a place that needs your, needs your support, let's put it that way. So I would say then, you know, what, what you do, is you buy stuff there, <laughs> you know, support the local economy, you know, and then when you leave, you leave the stuff, whatever, so you basically travel, like, 
two pairs of pants, like maybe a, maybe a jeans and a, a sort of like a chino or formal thing. I'm talking about travels now. I'm not talking about you go to a conference. That's some old difference, you know. You know, um, and you have a, a a dress shirt, maybe another kind of thing, a couple of uh, uh, undershirts or vests, whatever you want to call it. And socks, of course. And not not socks, of course. A couple of pairs of socks, because again, a lot of this stuff you should be buying at the local place to support the local economy. You know, and if you really don't like it, or you do, you just throw it away, or you bring it back. Which you blah 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 blah. That's the secret of that. Uh, what else do I want to tell you about? I know this is about me, but I'm talking about travel, really. Uh, when you travel, you gotta be you gotta be always aware. Oh, glasses. I have several pairs of glasses, but. Sometimes I wear them. Some well, I don't wear glasses, but I do wear glasses. I need them for for watching movies, you know, in distance and, and driving at night. Uh, but usually, I try not to wear glasses. All this, like the like the like the melanin, the, the rays that give you the melanin in, in your skin. I like to come through, and I do it you know, to talk on the camera. Before I used to do it a lot. Uh, well, my YouTube because I would talk on the camera, and I have different different glasses like that. It was a thing, you know. Um, and right now, I'm sort of masking because I had that Bell's palsy attack. <laughs> well, it was a five, six months ago, right? And slowly but surely, it's getting better. You can still see the vestiges here because I got them. Oh, just that's got to keep on moving over. I got my thing up here. You know, this is slowly coming back. That's trying to move it up. My eyes coming back. You know, I me mean, like that. But again, I'm not really into this. I mean. When my, the first thing, when my voice came back, that was it. I don't care how I look. I got to see, because right now I have, I'm an old guy. I got I got a face for radio now, so <laughs> that's, that's the way it is, right? But uh, so that's it. And uh, always match yourself up. You know what I mean? You don't want to look like a, except for when I was in Florida, right? I lived in Florida for a couple of seasons. Man, I could get away with wearing stripes with polka dots with whatever in the thing, shirts with ill-fitted, whatever have it, because I could do that in Florida at the time, when I was in Del Delray Beach as well as uh, Fort Lauderdale, I could do that at the time, you know, but if I tried that in New York, ooh, it's going up like that, ooh, my country, a bumpkin, blah, 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 blah. so be mindful of where you look, where, where you're going to, why, how you're going to look there, a lot of times I don't even clean myself up unless I have to, unless I have to go to an occasion, or I have to be someplace I have to impress people are so visual they, they you know i really don't care how i look as long as i can talk i'm fine <laughs> so anyway so um so the even the look like uh, all in india is all scraggly whatever happened and then people tend to leave you alone and now because of the way i look right now a lot of people they, oh og you know so, even though i'm an ag ag is uh i'm, I'm ancient not old i'm ancient anyway that's not the point so, so I get a lot of deferential, you know, even wherever I go now, people, you know, father, uh, uh, someone Rasta, uh, uh, OG, uh, uh, elder. So I'm, I guess I should, I'm, show, I'm enjoying my eldership, you know, as I move around. So that's it. I just wanted to give that to you. Tomorrow we talk a little, <laughs> I'm not going to go heavy on the politics until after the, the Democrat convention like that, but I'll talk about something about politics tomorrow. Okay, meanwhile, you'll take care. Bye.